Palm Station has been overrun by dinosaurs. Shut off all the valves to make it through. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jurassic Park. I'm your LP here for tonight, capital G. And here we are at the pump station. This level is legitimately challenging. It's not, uh, if you die here, it's your own fault. It's not like the river where you can die accidentally. But like the river and everywhere else in the game, the place looks spectacular. I haven't talked about the game's appearance and the game's looks at all. The graphics... Keeping in mind this is Sega Genesis. Graphics, ouch, are outstanding. Like, the backgrounds are highly detailed. Um, next time we see a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I don't know if- I don't remember if there's one in this level or not. Next time we see one, just look at the texture in its face. Look at the dinosaurs. Look at Grant's shirt as we're climbing up. Like, you can even see, like, the shirt, like, lift. Not so much lift, but, you know, like, stretch around his shoulders as he's climbing. In the river level, don't, for anyone who's noticed, uh, you can actually, like, going down the waterfall, you see the inside of the boat. And it looks like a boat. And these... Look like rockets. We have rockets. Plus one, that bitch. Rockets are the bane of Velociraptor. Because all the other weapons will take them out oh, very briefly. When you need just that little bit more time, you can count on the rockets. And yes, we are on top of a Brachiosaurus's head. But that's the only way to get to this point. Because we have to go this way. Hand over hand. Along the bottom. And climb up. Believe me, when I figured that one out, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And it took a few tries before I got it down. This was also a tricky bit. Pushing down that wheel, because if you go down after it, it'll roll right back over top of you and kill you. So couple of traps already in this level and more to come overall in this game the traps are more dangerous than the dinosaurs but of course if you ignore the dinosaurs you're gonna die so everything in this game is dangerous for your health velociraptors Tyrannosaurs. Actually, we don't need to do that. Let's leave that open. You name it. Water is dangerous for you. Doing this is dangerous. This bit is not so dangerous. You just have to climb up and up and up. But you gotta do it quickly. And yes, on the switch and then up on these bars. Up the ladder. Up and up again, and through here, and just in the nick of time. Let's grab the ammo here. We have ourselves a Tyrannosaur. Flash. I don't know if that worked. Let's throw another one. That one worked. Yeah, you can't see me. You can't see me. Our time is now. Yeah. Like I said, look at the textures on his face. Look at his eyes and everything, the teeth. Like, this thing is legitimately scary. You don't want to get eaten by him. If you do, it's you get eaten in one shot. So yeah, uh, this is, oh look at this. The dinosaur intelligence, like... We have our Velociraptor eating the Dildosaur. Not for long. Zap. Yeah, let's get to something a bit better. Because that won't send him for long. He's gonna come right after us, I think. Nope. We gotta wait quickly enough. 
Oh, I get to save our rockets for later. Always good. Take this out. Press up to continue. That's what those valves mean. When you ever see those valves, it's press up to continue. Jump. Get past the steam here. Pass that steam. And pass the steam. Oh, what's this? I got a Velociraptor? Or Clever Trap? Which is it? Clever Trap! Boom! And let's turn this off because we have to go down this way. And there's another one. So. Oh, that missed. Let's take him out. Kaboom! Go that way. That valve we can avoid. We don't need it. This is the way we want to go. This is the valve we want to turn off, but we have to be careful here. We have to go to the left without falling down too far. So just run across like that. And then, this bit you can't run up, but you have to jump. But you can make it, and you're not going to slide back or anything. Don't turn around, though. I think you will if you do. Yeah. And we need to hit that. So, knock him out. And we climb up. Oh! The game glitched. Glitch! We found the glitch. We got killed by a fucking glitch. No, I'm pissed. That was a glitch. Because when he hit me, I was just standing in the air. And then I eventually fell. Not the way to go. That's a bad, bad die. That's our first re that's our, like, I thought the, the dies are bad on the river, but that was terrible. That die should not have happened. Come on, Grant, go down. Let's get our rockets again, here because they're really handy. I love having rockets. Get the health pack just because, and down we go. Yeah, that's right, it floats. It floats. That's another, that's one weird design aspect of the game is that the block doesn't actually fall. It's not subject to gravity. Yeah, take it right down the Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus, the Brachiosaurus elevator service. Yeah, let's hurry up and get back there. So I was doing good until then. That was, oh. That should not have happened the way it did. It really shouldn't have. That is legitimately a bad death. Okay, wheel stopped. So up we go. Now I don't have to explain how to go through it. It's so much quicker. Let's just go, go, go. Even the coppers are getting smarter, they're dodging the damn uh, darts. Boom. What do you guys think of the music in this game? Like, I don't recognize any of it from the movie to be honest with you, but it's still good. Like, this game fits together so beautifully. Just some bits are rather frustrating to play through. And that like the one and only real glitch I've encountered in this game. That's the first time I never that never happened to me as a kid. It never happened to me when I was playing this back in the nineties. Again. 
Uh oh. Well, I don't know why he just stood there. I guess there's a limit to how far his sprite could move. That's the only explanation I've got. Onwards. Fall through here. Take out the steam. And up we go. Not at least at the time of this recording, anyways. Uh, there is talk of doing a second trilogy of Jurassic Park movies. I think the first one is actually like in like medium advanced planning stages. Like they're getting a script together for it and everything. And I'm thinking, why? Jurassic Park, the first movie was special because it was unique. There was nothing like it. Take him down and onwards. Continue on. We don't need blue darts really, so down here. Turn that off. Uh oh. Get out. Because he will come down after us. And here we are, we're back at glitch at the home of the glitch. Let's see if we can get him this time. Why isn't that blowing him up? There. That should give us the time we need. And we are away. We are away. And of course you can hear it, there's more of them. Always gonna be more. And across we go. Across, across, across. And we can stand here, right on the edge of this, but to cover the rest of it, we have to jump on that block. Gives me time to eat my pizza. Gotta love the pizza. Ah! Okay, good. That wasn't instant death. Put my health at a very low level. I have to be very careful. We're near the end of the level. Just have to go across this passage. Let's get some rockets ready. Oh, we got one and we got somebody's attention here. Boom! And down there where those bombs are? That's the path that'll lead us out of this level and into the mountains. So I bid you farewell, and I shall see you in the mountains.